Stay tuned after this brief message from Airbus Helicopters. Every year, the global rotorcraft industry gathers for the annual Heli Expo show. This year, they've come to Dallas for what promises to be one of the more dynamic shows in recent years. Around 20,000 exhibitors are expected here this week, and they'll have the chance to visit with some 700 exhibiting companies. The mood at Heli Expo is always seen as an important indicator as to how the industry is doing. And this year, after some pretty downbeat years, there seems to be some cautious optimism that its fortunes may finally be turning around. The helicopter industry has had a tough year, but there is a lot of optimism. The Helicopter Association International says that the Dallas Heli Expo this year is consuming the largest amount of net floor space in the history of the show. At face value, at least, factors such as the rising oil price and expectations that the new US administration of President Donald Trump may serve as some sort of catalyst for fresh investment in the American economy have lifted people's expectations. But long-standing industry observers warn that this turnaround is by no means assured. And they also point out there's more to this industry than just the offshore sector. I think last year there was a great deal of panic underlying the show because the price of oil was so low at $26 a barrel. We're getting near $55 a barrel sustained right now. I think that that's making people a little more comfortable, but still it needs to be sustained at about $60 a barrel before the offshore market's gonna feel a little more comfortable. That said, the offshore market still at that price level is down about 25% from normal levels, and that's still a very uncomfortable thing for the offshore market. The offshore operators are still losing money at that price. The parapublic market is the strongest market in this country right now, and they are the people, by and large, buying the light twins. So yeah, that, that could be a small pocket of hope. In domestic EMS right now, you're seeing still an oversaturation problem. For the first time ever since I've been keeping, keeping statistics, domestic EMS helicopters have declined in real numbers in this country. That's a reflection of an oversaturation of the market the fact that states can't regulate how many EMS helicopters are in their market. You're seeing flat income for a lot of the EMS operators, and there's going to be continued consolidation in that market. And that does not bode well for sales into that market by the OEMs. The Heli Expo Show is always an important forum for showing off the very latest aircraft and all the cutting edge technology that comes with them. The Bell 525, we expect an announcement that that's going to start flying again soon and maybe that will be certified sometime around 2019. The Leonardo AW609 has started flying again and we should see certification on that in 2018. The City Airbus vertical takeoff and lift program is starting in Germany and we could see those flying with passengers as early as 2020. So there are some new technologies coming around, mostly in the vertical lift area, not in the straight helicopter area. The Airbus H160 is a new technology helicopter that is under development. It does have quiet rotor technology and some other new technologies on board. So the Heli Expo show is always a great chance to take a glimpse at the future. But there are always some timeless novelties that remind us just what a special part of aviation this is. There's two notable arrivals this year. The first was Columbia Helicopters brought a twin rotor CH-47 Chinook to the convention center and stirred up quite a bit of activity when it arrived. The other was the Cold War Air Museum's Russian Mi-24 attack helicopter, beautifully restored, although I'm pretty sure those guns aren't real. Well, as ever, the AIN team is here at the Heli Expo Show bringing you all the news. And you can follow that around the clock online and also via our social media outlets. If you happen to be here in Dallas with us this week, be sure to pick up a copy of our HAI convention news every day at the show.